Hey, I'm Glenn Payne, I played Emery. Zach Rackbitch, I played Leaf. And I'm Michael Williams, the writer director of Oslands. Oslands. Oz Oz Alright, Jeff Haltom asked, did you as a director and Glenn and Zach as actors draw on any influences? There are parallels, at least I see, of, of Mice and Men. Uh, we've never seen or read of Mice and Men. I don't know about him. Yeah. Well, I was going to not answer that so it wouldn't look as bad, but now that you've pointed at me specifically, no, yeah. I haven't. We did pull, there is some reference, it's pretty subtle, um, but we actually used a lot uh, from the book The Wizard of Oz mm -hmm. uh, yeah. in it, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was with you. Too. What's he talking about? As I was writing the script, I listened to a lot of the soundtrack from Beloved. It's a little-known movie. It has a Oprah Winfrey in it, and it has some amazing vocals, um, like African American vocals that are just beautiful. So I listened to that on repeat um, while I was writing the script, and that also dictated how the script sounded. And uh, I mean, it's not not the script, how the music sounded in the film, because um, Keatsy Gun Money brought in a lot of old folk songs that were influential in the process of making the film. Um, Wayfaring Stranger was an influence. Uh, the way it sounded, we used that in our trailer, our original teaser trailer. So there's a lot of musical influences. There was definitely, there's always film influences for myself with um, Signs in the Village and Steven Spielberg films, um, Tim Burton films. So all that's kind of in there, but there wasn't a we weren't trying to create a film that looked like something else. We were just trying to create the film that we thought the story needed. Did you have any? Did you look at any special characters on film for Leaf? Because Leaf is a really complicated character yeah. to play. Out. I actually would like. Uh, I was going on YouTube and just trying to like watch like videos of children like reacting at birthday parties and stuff like really? that. I really wanted to have that sort of youthful aspect down with Leaf's character. So I felt it was really important to have that in a yeah, sad child. Like, very complicated, I would think. So that, that was mm -hmm. one of the biggest things I really looked at with, with developing Thief. I didn't look specifically at Ryan Gosling in Drive, but the idea of he played a character was very still and quiet. Uh, Emery wasn't overly quiet necessarily, but he I, I run my mouth a lot, like right now. I just keep <laughs> saying things, and like eventually I'll hit something that works. <laughs> But Emory doesn't do that, so it was a lot, there was a lot of discipline involved and in not adding little words and rambling and improvising and keeping it short and to the point and a certain stillness to him that I don't have personally. Alright, so from Lisa Sheridan, how did you make the model house look so real as if it was a true structure? Amazing. Magic. Um, yeah, well actually, if you didn't know, we use miniatures in the film because there's a lot of special effects elements that we couldn't create digitally. There's only one digital element in the film. Um, but the climax scene would have been way too expensive for us to use digital effects to create the idea of the tornado engulfing the house. So we had to build a miniature. Um, and Mark Cabot and I got together and did that. And there's actually a video you can check out on the YouTube channel. I'll put a link below where you can see a whole behind the scenes video of how we made that model. How about doing an Auslan spinoff called, wait for it, Royal Land, <laughs> smiley face. Um, so yeah, Royal Land was the is a real location. Um, used to be a theme park in Meridian, Mississippi. I don't really see there being a spinoff for Ozland unless it's just Glenn going and getting him a lady. It's like a romantic comedy. I'll do it afterwards, maybe. I'll do it. Um, so, it's not going to get Natalie Portman if she's interested. Uh, Keira Knightley. Um, Rebecca Hall. Kate Blanchett. Who else can we get to like play your romantic lead? I'm fine with any of those. Yeah, actually, yeah, those are all pretty nice. Okay. Or Zach could just put on a wig. Oh, it's true. Be so much cheaper. cheaper. Recreate that, that is... chemistry. All right, stay tuned. Already got it started. Ro yeah, we'll Ro the Royal Land, and I'll be the love interest. Yes. I get to meet the dog. So this is the team behind Ozland, and we are an independent filmmaking team, and we made Ozland for very little, and we like to do that. So we're gonna probably do more of that. So you should be sure to watch Ozland, and maybe see if you like what we did with what little we had. Watch Ozland. And check it out and give us a rating and review. Links are below. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Move your arms. Good. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs>